St. Jude Apostolate Yaba. Season 9, I believe in the Holy Catholic Church. Episode 22, the lay faithful's participation in Christ's prophetic office. Dear follow up I believe series, recall that at the beginning of our discussion on the lay faithful in episode 18, we did say that the lay faithful participate in the threefold office of Christ, namely priestly, prophetic, and kingly. The last episodes we discussed and we explained how the lay faithful participate in Christ's priestly office. In this episode, we then reflect on the lay faithful's participation in Christ's prophetic office. To begin with, let us set our right an impression. People often believe that a prophet is one who predicts the future or who identifies the mistakes of the past as the consequence of the present misfortunes. But more than that, a prophet in the tradition of the scripture is one who makes known the mind and will of God. What is the will of God? The will of God is that all may be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4. By proclaiming the gospel of salvation, by making known the mind and will of God, Christ fulfilled his prophetic ministry. In every liturgical gathering, when the ordained minister proclaims the word of God, he participates and he shares in Christ's prophetic ministry. The lay people in their own part participate in this prophetic office of Christ by evangelization, that is the proclamation of the word of God and the testimony of their lives. We often see the missionaries go on home to home visitation. They go on hospital visitation. We see members of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal do cross evangelization, market outreach, street outreach. When they do all this, they proclaim the word of God. And more importantly, by their lives, let people draw all believers to the faith because they come in contact even more with more believers than the ordained ministers do come in contact with them. Among them, they easily identify those who are not fully committed to the faith and they strengthen them by the example of their own lives. The lay faithful, by striving to understand the faith and then to share it with others, participate in the prophetic office of Christ. In the same way, when they instruct the ignorant, when they counsel sinners, and when they encourage the faint-hearted, those who are bereaved, they participate actively in this prophetic office of Christ. What is even more? In the day-to-day -day activities, when they bring the God talk into the day-to-day -day activity, they participate in this prophetic office. For example, someone has just shared with you his struggles and you ask, have you taken it to God in prayer? And so on this note, we end this episode on this note of prayer as we encourage you to take that challenge to God in prayer through the powerful intercession of St. Jocadius, the patron saint of hopeless and difficult cases. May God bless you through Christ.